Oh, I'm telling you, I, I don't understand how that you ever got as far as you did in life. Of course, I know why you did. I mean, I worked at it pretty hard. But uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't even see how you survived the four years that we were separated when we were in the Army. Uh, first of all, I don't even see how you got in the Army. Hmm? I mean, I, I was we a, must have been desperate. I was a hero almost oh, in the Army, yeah. You were a hero? Well, you know, I wore this truss all my life. Well, I know that, but that don't, that don't exactly make you a hero. I didn't, I didn't think they'd take me into service, you know. So the day I went down for my, my physical... <laughs> they did examine you? Yeah, I, I, I thought, well, I, I don't want to go to the Army, so I put my truss on upside down. Well, that should have done it. And uh, I went in there, and they, I went through the, the whole bit, you know, the... I got down there at the end of the line, that old guy stamped right on my record, he put M.E. there. Well, sure, that's medical exemption. No, it's Middle Egypt. <laughs> he said anybody can wear a truss upside down can ride a camel. That's what he <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I was in the service too, Homer. I don't like to brag about it, but uh, you know, a lot of guys that were heroes, they said, well, I don't want to talk about it, but I'm different. I like to talk about it. Which war was that? World War II. Oh. Well. That's as far as I can count. <laughs> I was decorated for extreme precaution undercover. <laughs> You've heard of chicken colonels? I was a chicken private. Private Chicken Schmidt. That's All right. <laughs> I didn't see you doing anything heroic, though, old yeah, commando. I, well, uh, I almost was a hero. I got fed up. I mean, I, almost. You either well, were I, or you weren't. I was over nor North Africa during the North African campaign. Well, that's a good place to be during oh, I was the North in, African campaign. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was hot over there, I'll tell you. How hot was it? Well, it's so hot, I seen a cow laying on her back giving herself a shower over there one day. <laughs> Milk was up four points. <laughs> Man, all that beach and no water. <laughs> no, I, I, I got fed up on the war one day and I went up to the CO. The what? That's the company commander, they call him. Oh. CO. And I said, if you give me a camel and some water and a gun, I'll go capture this rommel and we'll get the war well, over well, Hold it just a minute. Just, just back up there. Uh, you're going to take a, a camel, a, what, a canteen of water? Yeah, I know, and a gun. And you're going to capture General Rommel, the desert fox? Yeah. Surely you jest. <laughs> Surely I just said it. <laughs> now I'm going to have to repeat it all over No, again. you don't. I... <laughs> No, I, the CEO said, well, it's a crazy idea, but I think, you know, this could happen, you know. So he, he gave me, uh, he or, gave or he gave me the, the camel <laughs> and the water and the gun. I took off across the desert, and they found me out there about two weeks later, almost dead, dying of thirst. And, yeah, I was sunburned and everything. Boy, I had third degree plus planets and everything. Yeah, man, you might as yeah. well have had flat feet. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> the CEO picked me up and fanned me and gave me a drink of water, and he says, uh, T5 hands? That's what it was. Yeah, it was a T5. He says, we got your message. Returning immediately, Rommel captured. I says, that ain't what I sent. I said, returning immediately, camel ruptured. <laughs> We use a lot of these so the engineers will have something to take home and play for the kids. Would you, let's I hurry up, I gotta run over to the motel and check my traps. <laughs> I got a throw line set out in the pool over oh, there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Boy, That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Why? A throw line in the pool? Well, certainly. You'll never catch anything that would. I caught a drunk on it last night. <laughs> I never, 
I reeled him out and got him up on the edge of the pool and he looked up and he says, Don't flush it. 